Ted Cruz is on with uh, Bob Schieffer at Face the Nation, and he's going to say that uh, he, sh he didn't shut the government down. I think Bob has a perfectly reasonable question as a follow-up. Let's start uh, watching this exchange. Uh, let me ask you this. You became a celebrity uh, when you led the drive to shut down the government over Obamacare. But afterward, your fellow Republicans said you led them over a cliff. Can you conceive of any situation in which uh, you would uh, do that again, try to shut down the government in exchange or in, or in demand for some action by the president? Well, Bob, with, with all due respect, I, I don't agree with the premise of your question. Uh, throughout the government shutdown, I opposed a government shutdown. I said we shouldn't shut the government down. I think it was a mistake that President Obama and the Democrats shut the government down this fall. The reason they did so is that President Obama dug in and said he wouldn't compromise, he wouldn't negotiate. Yeah, I know. In the alternate reality you live in, Ted Cruz didn't do a giant fake filibuster where he demanded that they shut the federal government down to repeal Obamacare. It's that the president was obstinate and decided to shut the government down because he wanted to do what? Repeal a law? No, he wanted to keep the law exactly as it was. You're the one who took the action, not him. He wanted to keep the law exactly as it was. He wanted to keep the government running exactly as it was. You're the one who led that movement. What an unbelievable liar this guy is. And rare instance here on a Sunday talk show where he actually gets called out on it. Bob, have at it. All right, let me, let me go back to one thing. And the, the question I asked you was, would you ever conceive of threatening to shut down the government again? Well, as I said, I didn't threaten to shut down the government the last time. I don't think we should ever shut down the government. I repeatedly voted well, to fund if, the federal government. <laughs> Senator, the if, you didn't, shut if you didn't threaten to shut down the government, who was it that did? I mean, uh, but we'll go uh, on to something Harry else. It was Harry Reid and President Obama. But Bob, look, I, I understand <laughs> that the White House said over and over again the shutdown is the Republicans' fault. And I understand that's what you're repeating. But the reality is... I voted over and over again to fund the federal government. And the reason we had a shutdown, look, the well, Democrats were very candid. I know they told you, they said, we think the shutdown benefits us politically. Right now, the Democrats are telling you that they want another shutdown because they think it benefits them politically. Uh, Why Senator, is it hard to understand that they force a shutdown when they think it benefits them politically? <laughs> Senator, I know what Republicans were telling me, like John Boehner, who said this was a disaster and never again. But let me ask you one more question here. The government is approaching uh, another... A well, now, just a minute. Just a minute. The government is approaching another deadline, February 7th, when it will run out of money unless Congress agrees to raise the debt ceiling. Will you agree to raise the debt ceiling or will you demand something in return look of course we should do something we shouldn't just write a blank check well of course I'm gonna threaten to shut it down again but you see I'm not the one shutting it down all right I like Bob Schieffer getting a little riled up there I say hey, hey wait a minute let's figure out who's hosting this program it ain't you big guy <laughs> okay so this guy's got some balls on him man so I didn't shut the government down. Obama shut himself down. And, you know, it's his fault, not mine. Man, you got to watch out for guys like this. People who could lie like that without blinking, they're dangerous, dangerous folks. Thank God at least they're getting called out a little bit here uh, in the mainstream press. And by the way, the reason they are is because the establishment Republicans also turned on them. So it, it's not like Bob Schieffer all, all of a sudden became a, a lion of courage. It's okay, the Republicans and Democrats, the establishment ones, agree that Ted Cruz was wrong. Now, it's a case where the mainstream uh, of the both parties is actually right, which is very rare. <laughs> okay, but they are in this case, and it was definitely Ted Cruz's fault.